Welcome. In this video, we are going to install and configure the Ubuntu Desktop KMovieM on GNS3. In this video, we are going to download the VM, install it on GNS3, and establish network connectivity. All right, so now we are here on GNS3. And in order to add this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File, then select Plus New Template. Then we are going to leave the default of install an appliance from GNS3 server as recommended. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to go Guests, Ubuntu Desktop Client. I'm going to select that, click Install. Then I'm going to leave the Install the Appliance on the GNS3 VM as recommended selected. Click Next. Click Next here as well. So for me, I already have downloaded this and tested this, so I already have it in here. So mine already says ready to install and found on the GNS3 VM, but if you don't, if you select the second line, that's what you do is you select download. And what that's gonna do is it's going to open up the download page, the page where you go get this in your default browser. So click okay. And I already have this opened up in Chrome here. So as you can see here, we're looking for uh, version 19.04. So that's right here. And we're gonna select VMware, not VirtualBox, since we're installing it on VMware. And then you click download and then it should start downloading. You can see down here in the lower left, I've already downloaded it. And after you select import, you just have to navigate to where the file is. And for this one, I would select the Ubuntu 19.04 64-bit, and then I would click open. And we go to next. Then it prompts you to make sure, would you like to install Ubuntu Desktop Guest version 19.04? You select yes. The template will be available in the guest category, finish. Since I already have it, it's prompting me to create a new name, so I'll just name it this. Okay, it has been successfully created. And so then these two here are the same thing. And so I'm gonna drag and drop this onto the topology. I'm gonna use the connector to connect ethernet zero to ethernet two. I'm gonna right click on it, press start. Then I'm going to open up the console connection to the server. The desktop has booted up and now we're going to log in. I'm going to click on osboxes.org here. osboxes.org also happens to be the password at this time when I'm doing this. All right, so I'm going to click on this network button up here and it says wired connected. Um, we're going to look at the wired settings. And we can see that we've already pulled the DHCP IP address. And this is our DNS and default router as well. And this was all configured dynamically, but we can go through here and turn off the automatic DNS assignment and change it to Google's server and change these other settings as well. And we can put static routes in it too. And the interesting thing about this VM is that it gives you the graphical user interface from within GNS3. However, what you really need to do in order to get good at Linux is learn the command line. That's where all the power is, and that's where we're going to be doing pretty much all of this course. All right, and just another thing to note is that you can use the CLI from this through the GUI. So if you click down in the lower left on this icon down here, scroll down to Utilities, and then within Utilities, you will find the terminal program. So you click on that. And there's just one more thing to note. So let's say you wanted to edit your network interface settings from the CLI. All right, so we're gonna go use the nano editor for the Etsy network interfaces folder, or file, excuse me. Notice how it says down here in red that it's unwritable. The reason for that, because by default, you have to use sudo. You basically use the same command with sudo, which basically allows you to run it with root privileges and then go into it. So it's gonna prompt you again for the password, which is osboxes.org. All right, and now this time it does not say that it's unwritable. So that's what you would do if you wanted to statically configure the network and edit it that way. And with that, that concludes this video. And it is just one video in a much larger series about Linux for network engineers. So if you're interested in the other videos, you should check them out. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.